Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here and today we are gonna do a review and my experience wearing the Ultra Human Air. I know that this is a very different type of video content that I normally do. This year, I've been really focusing on my health and I was really curious when they reached out to me and wanted me to review it. So I've been wearing this ring for the past month now. And as you can see, it just looks like a ring, but there's a lot of digital um, hardware right underneath it. Something about your veins around your fingers are more precise at um, telling stuff about your body versus smart watches. In any case, like I said, I've been wearing this smart ring for the past month now. They do recommend that you wear it on your index, so you have to make sure that the part that is more raised is underneath. But what I like about my ring, at least for the size that I chose, is that it also fits my thumb both of my thumbs and I don't know if you can see right now it's actually green right now oh it just went out uh, so when it's green it's collecting data they do send you a whole ring sizer kit so these are um, the kind of like sample rings you're supposed to wear your best ring size for at least a day or two doing different things because your temperature and your body swells at different times of the day so you want to make sure it's comfortable to wear the entire day especially for sleep tracking for me that is a main reason why i wanted a smart ring is to really help me understand my sleep patterns and how i can improve it and so yeah this whole set this ring sizer is really really helpful it even has all the swatches of the different color metals that they have so as you can see i chose the gold it's pretty close i wouldn't say that it's ex the exact same but it's pretty close so it really gives you a good idea so that is part of the purchase you also get a charger with a braided cord this charger by the way only fits your size ring so let me start off by saying that this is my very first smart ring that i've ever owned i know aura is another brand that is very very popular but i've never gotten into it even though i was curious and the main reason is just because of the cost they have a membership that you have to pay whereas this ring you pay a one-time fee and it's yours to use for life that's one of the main advantage we'll get into as well but the reason why i was even interested interested in a smart ring is because unlike a smart watch which I thought I was going to use for sleep tracking when I first got it it's just not the same because with a smart watch there is the distraction of the screen so when I'm sleeping and I wake up in the middle of the night for whatever reason, I'm gonna start interacting with my watch and that is the worst thing you can do. It's just another type of distraction which didn't end up working for me. So that is the main reason why I was interested in the smart ring but then i discovered there are more things again my review is going to come from a more of a user's perspective less of a technical perspective so if you're looking for a technical review there are tons of other videos but for me it's more of my user experience when it comes to sleep tracking which is just one of the things that this ring does what i love about it is that it's very comfortable and kind of like you just wear it and forget it and it's just passively collecting data throughout the day, throughout the night. You don't really get distracted unless you are curious and you start looking at the app. That's the only time that you're gonna be quote unquote distracted, but that's when I'm ready to look at the phone and I wanna see what's happening. I am a bad sleeper. I have trouble falling asleep, trouble staying asleep, and I don't get very good quality sleep and so I have to sleep for a very long period even though I'm not really sleeping the whole time just so that I can wake up without feeling like I haven't slept at all and so this ring was able to really give me understandable data like it shows me how much REM sleep I have deep sleep light sleep when I wake up throughout the night so last night I got a sleep score of 71 
which is not bad, but I did have to sleep nine and a half hours to get this score, which is actually pretty bad. This was how my sleep went last night. So it's showing me that I had a total of four hours of REM sleep, four and a half hours of light sleep, but only 42 minutes of deep sleep. And I woke up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Well, more like six times because I woke up after that. So yeah, I woke up throughout the entire night at several time frames during the day. Basically every day it compiles a sleep score which would represent how well you slept. So the day before was 73, the day before that was 70, 83, 54. So it basically just gives you measurable data. And while it's not really necessarily helping you sleep better but it's helping you understand why your sleep wasn't good it also tells you your sleep debt there's a saying that anything that gets measured can get improved and that is what i'm trying to get here well a smart ring is not going to help you do things better but it's going to help you understand why things are working that way so if you're really motivated you can change things around to keep improving. Cycle tracking was another one of those. Not only does it help me track which day I'm at on my cycle, but it also explains to me why my body is doing certain thing because I'm at this phase of my cycle. So for example, today, day 20, I'm on my luteal phase. So it's telling me that elevated temperature is normal. My HRV is supposed to be lower and that's normal. And that would also be another component of why my sleep hasn't been very good. Before, I would always just wonder like what's happening to me, but now it explains why. Other features that are really, really super cool and just fun and helpful. Little nudges and reminders for you to go and get vitamin D, so get UV exposure, tell you your best time to have caffeine, which would not disrupt your circadian rhythm, reminders to move and stretch, especially if you haven't moved all day, the movement score, so every day it gives you a score of how much you've moved or exercised, dynamic recovery, takes into account your resting heart rate, heart rate variability, your temperature, your sleep quality, your movement and recovery, and that it just gives you an overall score. Individual markers such as your heart rate, uh, your cardio age, which is cool, it says that I have a cardio age of 40, and free fitness content that you can use, there is even like a whole meditation and relaxation um, section where I've used as well. So battery life. It says that it will last up to six days. I haven't really worn it for six days without charging because what I end up doing is that I would wear it for the entire day except when I get ready for bed. So when I brush my teeth and shower, I would then charge it because although it is waterproof for up to 100 meters, I just like to not have a ring on me when I shower. And so that's the time that I just usually plop it on the charger and I just leave it there for that half an hour, 45 minutes. And it usually always recharges it enough for me. Uh, they do recommend that you keep the charge between 30 to 80% to optimize the battery. So if it's already plenty battery then I just leave it on the counter. Another reason why I love the Ultra Human Air versus other smart rings is that the Ultra Human Air costs 349 and then you can apply my coupon save 10% and that is your only cost that you need to pay and then you get to use your ring for the rest of your life. All the features that I've mentioned so far whereas with the Aura Ring you've had to pay the cost of the ring and then you have to pay a membership every month. Again like I said I've never had other smart rings so I can't really compare feature to feature but as far as my experience with this ring i'm really really happy even not having tried other rings having said all of that it's not all perfect so there are some cons that i have noticed because i have small hands and uh, relatively small fingers i do find that it's still bulky <laughs> because i do end up wearing it on my thumb to make it look cool but otherwise you know when i do wear it on my index for example it's still a pretty big ring so for me it still has a slight bulk factor i do get used to it love that it tracks my workout and everything in between so it's a con that i can live with but it is still bulky at least for me because i have small hands another thing that i found and that's maybe true for any 
smart rings out there, honestly. Be careful when you wash your hands, especially if you just wear it on your thumb, because the soap will just make it super easy to come off your, your fingers, especially if you chose a size that is not super tight. Just be careful because it will come off your fingers. Another con is the charging dock. Again, I don't know about other brands, but this charging dock only fits your own size ring. So if you and your husband have the same size, uh, then no problem because um, then you can both use the same charger. But he has size nine and I have size seven. So my ring will not fit on his charging dock and his ring will be too big on mine. They're only for your own ring size. By the way, the charging dock is quite nice, super small, portable, uh, and I just plug it into my laptop because they do recommend low voltage. So yeah, plug it into your laptop. It charges really, really fast anyway. If you want the advanced features such as cardio adaptability, AFib, integrate it with your um, glucose monitor, those are extra features that you would have to pay a fee. Again, I'm a believer of what gets measured gets improved. Therefore, data is just data. If you don't do anything about it, then it's just data. So. I guess it's up to the end user. So just to summarize, I love the comprehensive health tracking, but doing it passively, sleep tracking, resting heart rate, HRV, skin temperature, exercise, movement, recovery, caffeine window, UV exposure guidance, app features such as the performance coaches, the meditation, content, the fact that the ultra human ring is supported in 16 different languages and they do plan to add more. In terms of design, I like that it comes in five different colors and they all cost the same price. Last but not least, it's got a great battery life. This cannot be said about smartwatches. My Apple Watch, I definitely need to charge every single day. I also know that because this is a very young company, they are based in India, that they're constantly updating. And that's what I also heard from other reviews that they're constantly improving their features. Again, these health uh, wearables, they're not perfect either. I don't think we can really expect them to be like super exact because if you want that you need to go to a lab and that is still the gold standard but it will at least give you a trend of what's happening to your body and that way it's still a good indication of how your body is doing. All in all do I recommend the Ultra Human Air Smart Ring? Absolutely. I think for someone who's never had one, I've had nothing but a great experience with it. Anyway, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section. I hope I can answer them. Uh, otherwise, if you're interested, check out my link. You can use my coupon code to save 10%. And I hope this is a thorough enough and good enough review, even coming from a non-technical channel. I definitely do have more kind of like health-related devices that I want to review. This year has been a year that I've decided to try to target consistently and improve one of my mindset goals this year. So uh, this came at a really, really good time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.